What is good, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Lotus Asakor, the one who never knows best and uh, the one who never makes the best decisions because I may or may not have overslept a little bit and I wanted to actually be live streaming right now before this happens, but we're about to get a brand new gameplay showcase for Dragon Ball Sparking Zero and I'm here giving you my live reaction to this gameplay breakdown that we're about to have that's going to be about 13 minutes and yeah, I may or may not have just rolled right out of bed. Uh, I... <laughs> I may or may not have streamed until about 4 or 5 in the morning last night playing some NBA 2K with the homies and I knew that this was happening at 10 a.m. and I intended to be like, I was going to like, yeah, I'll go take a nap, wake up and go stream again and then get my live reaction, whatever, whatever. That was the plan. Uh, you know, it didn't quite go like that, but I still got up just in time to catch the trailer itself and, you know, do, do a reaction. I just I was like, you know, what, we just go each day on the stream and uh, I think I have to sneeze. Hold on. <laughs> Excuse me. I'll show you oh my the goodness. Of hell. Anyway, <laughs> gameplay breakdown for Dragon Ball Spark Zero. Um, I don't really have any real hopes or expectations for this. We just going we just go, we just gonna see what they give us and, and, and rock with it. Alright, let's get into it. Gameplay showcase. I don't really know what to expect, but oh, maybe I should move the camera. Hold on, let me just. Oh, wait, no, not there. Must have appeared so you can see the subtitles. Sakyo no Minasama ni Mite Ita Daita Noa. Sakunen Juni Gas no Game Award Day, Seishi Kapio Sareta. Dragon Ball Sparking Zero no Shosu Torela de Sta. Futoshino Ichi Gas, Dragon Ball Games Battle Hour 2024 Dewa. Oh, are we actually are we gonna get the uh, the power versus speed trailer in this actually? Now that I think about it. Oh, that'd be a separate thing. 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 Right, we talked about this before. Budokai Tenkaichi was this what it was known as here in the, in the States, but in Japan it's always been called Sparking. The exclusive glimpse of the gameplay footage unveiling Sparking Zero's unique mechanics. Very, very interested in this. There's so many questions I have about Sparking Zero, but. I love these colors. I love this this graphic visual style. This is. You know the balance. Hey, hey, hey. No, I won't be losing this one, Vegeta. Uh, I'm not sure how in depth I'm gonna go as far as like analyzing and breaking this down. This one might be a reaction. We might do a separate video, like going more in depth and breaking down the gameplay. Oh, we get to look at the UI as well. Let me move the camera again back to where I was. You know what I'm saying? Um. The UI is okay. I'm gonna assume that that is gonna be the. It says it's under development, so it could change, but that's probably going to be what it actually is in the final version. It's alright. Okay, okay, okay. A a a. Oh, he's already pretty battle damaged. Now Goku's all battle damaged. Okay, so real time battle damage to the to the outfits. Always always love to see that. Stage destruction. Got the the, the hyper dash like before. Charging key, which I know Dragon Ball fans always care a lot about. It looks smooth. It look it look real smooth. I ain't gonna lie. Cinematic supers. Oh my god, that, that little impact frame, that was clean. The way it got dimmed just now, will it actually do that in the game or is that done for the trailer or what? Transformer to Super Saiyan Blue? Yeah. It looked like it did that little green flash thing too, like it did in the uh, the Broly movie. Also, I can see now this is going to be one of them high bitrate games that when you stream it, if you ain't streaming at the highest bitrate, it's going to be a little, you know what I'm saying? Damn, that punch was kind of nasty. Damn, just deflect that shit like it wasn't nothing. Transform, Super Saiyan Blue, uh huh. Also, I like how the Super Saiyan Blue and just like these colors and designs in general look more like the Shintani designs from the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie, as opposed to like 
the Dragon Ball Super like anime or like the Dragon Ball Z movies. I, I think it looks a lot better personally. I don't know about you guys, but I like the colors and the models from that more than anything else. I think Dragon Ball Super Broly is the best that Dragon Ball ever looked. That's just me though, that's just my opinion. Although I will say the color of Goku's clothes, you know what I'm saying? I, I prefer it with a little bit more yellowish instead of the oranges, but it, 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 no problem, that ain't no problem. Oh my goodness. Okay, that that super was dumb slow though. I'm not gonna lie. Also, they got a little little boost meter down here. Uh, you you kind of missed it, but it's alright. They had a little boost meter down there um, to boost the damage. That super was dumb slow. I don't know if you're gonna be able to combo into that or hit people with that very often. That okay with you? You got that to be sure. I will say it definitely looks like the spiritual successor to Tenkaichi. It, 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 it definitely does. ラッシュ攻撃や派生コンボによる近接格闘だけでなく、ドラゴンダッシュを使った高速移動やファンの皆様なら思わずなつかしんでいただけるようなデントのカウンターシステム。そしてさらには激しい肉弾戦や気候派の打ち合いを楽しめる演出アクションなど派手なバトルシステムはそのままにバトルのやり込み要素だけではなくいやのグラフィックスドゥーワークインスメにも気を配っていますなんぼやスケ
Because、uh, I think there's going to be a video I make soon. I'm going to be a video I make soon. I'm going to be a video I make soon. I'm going to be a video I make soon. I'm going to be a video I make soon. I'm going to be a video I make soon. I'm going to be a video I make soon. I'm going to be a video I make soon. I'm going to be a video I make soon. I'm going to be a video I make soon. I'm going to be a video I make soon. I'm going to be a video I make soon. That's my boy. This is the power vs. speed trailer. That's my dog. That's my dog. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. I probably won't play as this version of Trunks very much myself because I am more of a speed guy than power. Also, k u n s a being in the game. This is, this is just a flex, bro. k a k u s a being in the game is just a flex because, like. That's such a minor character, you know what I'm saying? How many ladies are all around me? I'm old, yes, but experienced. I'm like moving all over the place with my camera and stuff based on what's going on on screen. Stage looks gorgeous. Whether it's this universe or another, I'm always the fastest. Don't think I'm gonna follow your orders for the rest of my life. Size means nothing when you're as quick as me. Hey. Justice prevails. t o p o It's gonna be Topo's first time actually being playable in a game that's not like Legends or Dokkan. I'm really curious. I have so many questions about Spark and Zero, man. Like, this is answering a lot. But I don't know about you guys, but I'm like really, really excited to see like what the intro for the game was like. Because one thing about the Take IT series is like getting the gameplay right is one thing, but it's more. Berserker Kale is kind of fire. They all call her Berserk. Super Saiyan Berserk Kale is fire, bro. That's so fire, bro. And it gets the Super Broly, bro. Full power. Let's go. Oh, no. You gotta have to fight each other, bro. Well, I guess they're both power, so that's probably why it's, it's not. But like. Oh, wait, no, there it is. Oh, that's sick. Oh, that's so sick. Yo, thumbnails for this game gonna be gas. I mean, they already have been, but you know what I'm saying? This is this is just eye candy, bro. This is just eye candy. All right, now go ahead and hit me with a release date for the one time. Okay, I was asking for too much. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, I was asking for too much. It, 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 what it is. Sandland, I forgot about Sandland. Launching next month. Yeah, we don't talk about this one. Or that one. Or that one. Actually, it seems like they've actually. Well, the gameplay of. Okay, they got a lot going on for Dragon Ball right now. I didn't really realize how popular Dragon Ball games still really are because I'm just like, for me, it's just not a Dragon Ball game that's really worth playing right now. I'm waiting on Sparking Zero. Is that the end? I think that might be the end. That was, in fact, the end. Well, boys and girls, that was the gameplay breakdown for Sparking Zero as well as the new Power versus Speed trailer. And I don't know about you guys, but. I thought it was pretty dope. I thought it was pretty hype. Uh, I'm excited. I'm looking forward to the game. Still no idea exactly when it's going to be releasing. Um, I'm hoping sometime later this year, probably toward the end of the year, maybe early next year. We'll see. Still no really, uh, no, no indicator of that. But um, when it comes to the Sparking Zero, that answers some of my questions for sure. I, I feel confident in the gameplay of it being really a modern version of Tenkaichi, which is what it's supposed to be. But there's still other questions that are unanswered that I have that you guys probably have as well. Like I was touching on earlier before I got distracted by the hype of the trailer. One of the things that also made the, the Budokai and the Tenkaichi game so great was the intro, right? Not just the, the visuals and the music、uh, for the intros for the Budokai games was always incredible. Like, we all have huge nostalgia for Budokai 3 and the Tenkaichi games and everything like that. And、um, with Budokai 3 probably being my favorite, Spark Nizu has to have that as well. It's, it's gotta have a really dope intro、uh, with, with a really good song, right? And then when you talk about music, you gotta talk about the soundtrack as well because the Budokai games and the Tenkaichi games also had incredible music. Now, I think. You know, there's gonna be. Well, I don't know who's gonna be the composer and producer, or whatever, for, for the music, because、uh, if you know about the copyright and legal troubles、uh, from the games back in the day, I'm、um, saying we're not really gonna get the same guy who did the music back then. 
but i'm really hoping for some dope tracks because like budokai 3 10 Kaichi 2 like those games had really 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 great music and, and sparking zero if it really wants to be a true successor to those games has to have that as well uh beyond that i mean there's other things too like the story mode i'm really curious how the story mode is gonna go because i played the story modes of those games over and over and over as a kid i'm sure you guys did as well and i feel like all the budokai games had like a lot of like care and effort put into those story modes and that's not saying that they were like all amazing but i think i think they were all amazing in their own way like budokai one had like you know just actual gameplay cutscenes like the entire time and like fully voice acted and everything like that then budokai 2 had a really unique spin with the board game stuff and had like silly little what if stuff and you kind of craft your own version of the story as you went along even though it didn't get into detail about every single little interaction that happened throughout the story uh, it was still really fun to play through. Then Budokai 3 with you flying all over the hub world. That was really, really dope. And it didn't have like a lot of the gameplay cutscenes, but it was, it had a decent amount of like voice acting. And you know, it had a, uh, it, it went further into detail with the story mode than I think Budokai 2 did. And it also had like secrets that you could find all over the place. Like I was just talking with the homies last night about, you know, playing in Budokai 3 and flying all over the map and finding the hidden stuff where you could fight the, you could fight Z Broly or where you could accidentally discover Super Saiyan 4 and fight Omega Shenron and all the other, all the like extra stuff you had to do or like you guys remember like in Budokai 3 where you had to fight Kid Buu and finish him with like the Super Spirit Bomb uh, and go Super Saiyan during the Spirit Bomb in order to get like the follow up I think with Oob right and then like get that extra cutscene you know, and unlock Oob and everything like that just just little stuff like that and I really hope that Sparking Zero you know follows in those footsteps as well because like getting the look right is one thing for sure getting the gameplay right is one thing but there's so much more to it than just the gameplay mechanics that make us a, a, a tenkaichi game a tenkaichi game or make a budokai game a budokai game right and i i, I really want to see a lot of that stuff uh, make its return like those those hidden little secrets in a really good story mode because even when you get to tenkaichi one two and three those story modes are really good as well i think tenkaichi two had my favorite out of the tenkaichi games but that's just me um but yeah you know the roster it, it looks like we're gonna get what we want for the most part the gameplay looks good I'm, I'm 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 impressed i'm excited i'm hyped and uh so far so good like there's nothing that's really alarming or making me go like oh i don't know about this one or like and raising any sort of cause for concern uh but you guys let me know what you think in the comments down below hit this video with a like if you enjoyed subscribe if you haven't already so you can stay tuned for all of the content that i'm bringing you uh and with all the being said it's pretty much off today and remember nothing can happen to you swing the bat later